Understanding pH and pKa. While it may seem very confusing with like pKa, OH, H3O+, Ka, Kb, it's all the same stuff. So I'm going to start off by simply writing the conversion sheet. And since I invented it, we're going to call it Link's conversion sheet. So we'll start off with the pH. So we've got pH, we've got H3O+, which is the definition of pH, we have OH, and we have POH. So if you can remember just a few of these, the other ones fall in place. So to go from pH to H3O+, we use the formula 10 to the negative pH. To go from H3O plus to OH, we use 1 times 10 to the negative 14, so negative there, divided by whatever our H3O plus is. To go from OH to POH, it is negative log. OH. Now the bottom half of this conversion table is the same thing, it's just inverse. So to go from POH to OH is the same as that corner over there. It's 10 to the negative POH, so it's just POH instead of, instead of PH. To go from OH to H3O plus is the same as what's above it, so it's 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by OH and to go to pH from H3O plus it's the same as the other corner which is negative log oh that's an H sorry H3O plus and if you're wondering why the log is negative it's just so it produces a positive number so that's the conversion table for pH and as long as you can remember a few things of this, say you can remember the top line, you automatically know the bottom line. So I find that useful. If you don't, just remember each formula by itself and you should be fine. So we'll start off by just using this conversion table for, for a second. So we've got some example questions here, so I'll write one right here. So let's say we want to find the pH and we're given one mole per litre of I don't know um, hydrogen chloride okay so and we, we want to actually let's make that 0 0.1 to copy the book so we've got 0 0.1 moles per litre of hydrogen chloride solution and we want to find the pH of that. You might already know that in your head, but the way we do it using that conversion sheet is we go H3O plus to pH. So that's actually given us, it's given us the H3O plus and that's this here. So the formula is negative log H3O plus. So to work out the pH, pH equals negative log 0 0.1 and that equals 1 and it's as simple as that so we've just followed the conversion sheet. Let's do another example of a similar example um, alright so 2.20 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per litre of HBr. Once again, a strong acid. So same same thing. Given the we're given the H3O plus. So we just go negative log 2.20 times 10 to the negative 3, and that equals. 
2.65 so we've got a pH of 2.65 and just to relate my point, um, that negative, if you were to take away that negative, the answer you'll get would simply just be negative 2.65. So it's just produced a positive number. Alright, so not too hard, right? Easy enough. Let's Now let's take this conversion sheet, and when it starts getting into Ka and Kb and all that stuff, people seem tend to get a little bit confused, but one thing that I don't think a lot of people realize is the, is the exact same formulas so pKa, let's do another conversion sheet, Link's conversion sheet I invented it, I didn't invent the formulas but Kb and pKb so you can think of the pKa as pH, the Ka as H3O plus, the Kb as OH and the pKa uh, pKb as the POH. So the formulas are exactly the same. That's the amazing thing. Well, the useful thing, I suppose. So to go from pKa to Ka, it's 10 to the negative pKa. To go from Ka to Kb, it is 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by a to go from KB to PKB it is negative log KB once again we just inverse it so to go it's an error go from pKb to Kb it is 10 to the negative pKb think in your head what this is going to be you should know that it's going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by Kb Ka to pKa negative log to <coughs> negative log Ka and great that's the exact same thing except we've just changed what they are if you look at the table the exact same formulas there's no difference so let's do some examples using using this new conversion table and incorporating them both so There's an example question here. It says, here we go, um, the Ka of HnO2 is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4 and it wants pKa so we're going to go Ka to pKa equals unknown so let's look at our conversion table we've got Ka here and we need to go over here so what is that? that's negative log Ka so equals negative log Ka, which is given, and it's 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4, and I believe that equals 3.34. Great, that's our pKa, 3.34. So it's as simple as that, and <laughs> let, let's incorporate let's incorporate the two so the two conversion charts let's let's incorporate them so um, find I'll just do a line here find pH 0 0.05 moles per litre of H in O2 
So we've given the PK we're given the PKA and we know the KA, so the the new thing that we're given is concentration and we've got to get to pH from this concentration. So the new formula to break us back into the pH world from the Ka world or from the pKa world is H3O plus equals constant times concentration and that breaks us back into the world that's how you convert between these two charts here so to go from here from this chart to that chart it is K times C great right easy enough so that's the only new thing that you've got to learn everything else stays the same so the first thing we'll do is, is we'll get the H3O plus so that equals 0 0.05 times our given Ka which was 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4 alright 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4 and that equals I'll just do that on my calculator, hold on 0.05 times 10 times 4.5 negative 4 alright well I got 2.5 Two. I got 2.25 times 10 to the negative 5. Simple enough, right? Well, there's one more step before we're finished. This actually doesn't equal H3O plus. This equals H3O plus squared. So this answer here is, is squared, is H3O plus squared. So there's two, two ways we could get around that we could square root our calculation or we could square root our answer and we'll just square root the answer since we've already calculated it but if you know what you're doing you just put that square root into the formula and you'll be fine and that equals I got I got 0 0.00 Okay, so that's our H3O plus, that's our, that is purely our H3O plus, and we have it right here. So, we're at H3O plus, we need to get to pH, it says find pH. So, let's go back up to our conversion chart and see what we need to do. Well, we've got the H3O plus now, now we just need to go to pH. Simple enough, right, and what's the formula for that? that's negative log H3O plus so let's do that negative log 0 0.00474 moles per litre equals I'll just do that in my calculator 2.3 and there we go we've got a final pH of 2.3 so it gets a little bit harder when you've got to convert like say KB to H3O plus or when you're dealing with bases because it then gets a little bit more difficult but there's another video you can watch on that just look at my channel but anyway that's all thank you